y'all like to talk about the glyphosate and the bonds of pasta, so here we go. This orange man had the highest level of glyphosate that has ever been detected by the lab that we commissioned to test for glyphosate and gluten-free products. Step one, before we analyze the information, we're also going to consider the source because they also commissioned the testing. And the source, friends, is Moms Across America. And because 4th of July is in a few weeks, let's revisit one of their patriotic billboards. Organic food, freedom from GMOs and toxins. All right, go watch Andy's whole video. She did an excellent job covering this. So did Unbiased SciPod. Go check out their post as well. They've covered pretty much everything. So I just want to add some additional information about this. This is the same old glyphosate fear mongering that I've been covering for a few years now. Go check out my glyphosate Instagram highlight. I have a lot of resources information there. In addition to that, EFSA just had a recent reevaluation of glyphosate. FSA and EU member states carried out a risk assessment and peer review thereof for the active substance glyphosate. It is the most comprehensive and transparent assessment of a pesticide that EFSA and the EU member states have ever carried out, taking into account thousands of studies related to human and animal health and the environment, and involving dozens of scientists from EFSA and national authorities across Europe. This recent reevaluation resulted in the reapproval of glyphosate in the EU. In addition, they derived an acceptable daily intake for glyphosate at 0.5 milligrams per kilogram body weight per day. So back to this whole thing that's been going around, a 65 kilogram human would have to consume about 200 servings of this pasta per day to reach that very conservative level set by EFSA due to their recent reevaluation of glyphosate. That's over 20 pounds of this pasta per day. Even though they're saying it is the highest ever found, that still does not mean that it is a harmful amount. It's ridiculous to be scaring consumers over something like this. All this results in is more unnecessary consumer fears, guilt, anxiety surrounding food choices. Ironically, these things continue to show how safe our food supply is from a pesticide residue perspective, even though they're framing it as the opposite. But if you actually understand the numbers and compare it to the actual safety levels, it actually shows how safe these levels are.